Hello, and welcome to an in-depth study of Coca-Cola's marketing campaigns by Brittany and Sonia. We invite you to join our journey as we explore the methods, meanings, and marketing strategies of the world's favorite beverage company, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola's social media marketing strategy focuses on engaging their audience, crowdsourcing to gather information, sharing meaningful content, and creating real brand experiences. In recent history, Coca-Cola has become known for their inspiring video campaigns such as the Coca-Cola Happiness Machine, Share a Coke, and Taste the Feeling. These campaigns are centered on feelings of happiness, generosity, friendship, and love. Coca-Cola focuses on putting a smile on their customer's face and enhancing special moments. The campaigns have had success in creating brand loyalty and expanding their market share. Engaging an audience requires the marketer's message to be relatable on an emotional level. After receiving such a message, consumers are prompted to respond to the content in some way. Sharing, commenting, tweeting, and reacting are among the top desired responses. If a company seizes the opportunity to respond to comments or questions in a timely manner, they will likely have a new loyal customer. Engagement with customers is the key to building long-lasting relationships and loyalty. Social media has introduced opportunities to gather feedback from customers. Through these new methods, companies have direct access to innovative ideas and information from their consumers. According to Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, crowdsourcing is the practice of obtaining needed services, ideas, or content by soliciting contributions from a large group of people and especially from the online community, rather than from traditional employees or suppliers. Coca-Cola has had much success using crowdsourcing to gain inspiration to further develop their brand. One of Coca-Cola's strategies is to share content that is meaningful and attention-grabbing. When such content is shared on social media, it has the potential to become viral. In fact, many of Coca-Cola's advertisements have gone viral. This video went viral after its release in 2010. To date, it has received over 7 million views, 27,000 likes, and much media and blog coverage. Most of Coca-Cola's marketing content centers on the importance of special moments. In the Share a Coke proposal video, Coca-Cola presented a real-life proposal. Hello, baby. Guessing you would have uh, figured out what's going on by now. I have something very important to ask you, okay? And I thought what better place to ask you than place where you first met. Of course, before I ask anything, 
Tony Wright that I speak to both our parents. And as you can see from the pictures, I think that went very well. So don't worry, Dave. Oh, and remember that there uh, are folk surprises that you can be seeing. Of course, you love folk so much. I actually did one more for you tonight. We'll get to that in a bit. So, uh, here we go. Yes, person in the world. Mm. Yeah, you, you, you confused me, so... I've got something very important to ask you. Adeline, in the spirit of cold... So cute! <laughs> Will you make me the happiest man and marry me? Yes. This video is an example of a real brand experience. Coca-Cola loves to create special moments and share happiness. <laughs> happiness is one of the core values of Coca-Cola's marketing plan. Through classical conditioning, they have established a strong link between pleasant emotions and the Coca-Cola brand. Through the Happy Flag campaign, Coca-Cola partnered with the country of Denmark to spread happiness. Coca-Cola's iconic logo has been around for over a century. But recently, we found something we've never noticed before. A hidden flag. A remarkable coincidence since it belongs to Denmark named the happiest country in the world by the United Nations. What if we could take this discovery and let Coca-Cola and Denmark spread happiness together? At the airport, Danes have a tradition to welcome people with flags. Unfortunately, not everyone brings one, and the welcome doesn't become as big as it could be. So we created a special outdoor ad. Where people could pick flags straight from the logo to make sure no one would be empty-handed. This way, everyone could share their happiness. In just one day, people took over 2,400 flags and welcomed 25,000 arrivals from more than 30 different countries. But most importantly, Coca-Cola made it possible for the Danes to show what a welcome to the world's happiest country should feel like. All thanks to a small hidden flag. Togetherness is another important message that has been included in Coca-Cola's campaigns. This message is particularly popular in their advertising in foreign countries. In their videos, it's common to see a group of individuals laughing, talking, or dancing. They 
are reinforcing the idea that their brand is genuine and wants to provide real brand experiences. Last September, in the dead of night, the world's most iconic brand did the unthinkable and took an entire country by surprise. 150 of Australia's most popular names appeared on millions of bottles of Coke. As is evident from their marketing campaign photos and videos, Coca-Cola's target market segment consists of teens and young adults, both in America and abroad. Their campaigns epitomize the fun, happy life of a young adult sharing love and laughter with their closest friends and family. And while the buzz grew and grew, we recruited our fans and made them the face of our campaign. The reason they are targeting this age group is because they realize the influential potential. If Coca-Cola can bring this age group on board, they will have access to a much larger age group because of the strong influence young adults have on those around them. If you know a Kate, share a Coke with Kate. For our assessment of the use of social media platforms, we will specifically refer to the Share a Coke campaign. This campaign was created to communicate directly with the target audience through social media. It was a way to engage customers and help them to start a global trend of self-expressing and celebrating uniqueness. This campaign reached consumers individually by personalizing Coke labels with first names. In the beginning, Coca-Cola only printed common names. As the campaign became popular, there was a demand for unique and even foreign names. This campaign spread worldwide through social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. After millions of selfies and much interaction by consumers, it was evident that this campaign was a social media success. Coca-Cola has become one of the most recognizable brands in the world. It has achieved third largest global brand because of its interaction with social media platforms. Its 86 million followers and fans have made Coca-Cola a well-respected brand in the food and beverage industry. It is known for its high sales and community involvement. It markets to its audience by using different tactics on each media channel while maintaining a cohesive brand image. Activity in each media channel is studied to see how fans interact with different content on various networks and use this information to help them determine how to advertise. Coca-Cola started its social media journey in January of 2006. They set up a YouTube channel that now has nearly 500,000 subscribers and has collected 550 million views. Its video content receives 50% more views than its competitor, Pepsi. Twitter is a popular social media platform that targets 18 to 34 year olds and has approximately 2.4 million users. Their tweets lead to a large number of engagements that create over 1 billion potential impressions worldwide. During the Share a Coke campaign, consumers use Twitter to share their experiences and stories by using the hashtag ShareCoke. The results were phenomenal. Sharing these stories led to more personal online media content that increased shareability. People who shared their stories were entered into a drawing to have their photos featured on Coca-Cola's website as well as across many billboards. This campaign drew attention to customers and made them want to be a part of this fun action. 500,000 photos were shared using the Share a Coke hashtag and more than 6 million of the creative virtual Coke bottles were shared and Coca-Cola gained 25 million extra Facebook followers because of this. Coca-Cola's biggest fan base is on Facebook and has reached 82 million followers. Coca-Cola has used this platform to maintain their brand image and promote various campaigns. For the Share Coke campaign, Coca-Cola gave customers the ability to share a personalized Coke with a friend via the Facebook page. Despite the large size of the fan base, 
Cope does not post very often on the Facebook page. Typically, their posts consist of information or pictures about special causes such as the charity effort in the Arctic or events such as the Olympics. However, the brand is so strong that people still post on their page on a daily basis. Tumblr was another platform that helped the campaign. Posting only 15 blogs led to 35,000 reblogs across its entire suite. Coca-Cola was one of the first consumer packed goods brands to join Tumblr. They started off by sharing their new photo focused blog titled Happiness Is. At this point, 11 million team bloggers were targeted as they were the heaviest users of Tumblr. Coca-Cola utilized a tool that Tumblr users love, which is liking other users' photos and featuring them in their sidebar. This led to them following other Tumblr users. Coca-Cola is considered to be one of the best storytelling brands on Tumblr. The Tumblr blog, Where Happiness Lives Online, is hard for anyone to ignore. One to two images are shared a day in association with happiness. Fun pictures of puppies and sweaters or cartoon polar bears dancing on a special island bring attention to customers. Coca-Cola does a seamless job in keeping things fun by balancing product placement with random images. They have learned that no one wants a 24-7 sales pitch. Giving customers something to enjoy makes them enjoy your brand even more. Coca-Cola uses Instagram to engage with consumers by posting short clips with various themes. Some clips reference the holidays while others tackle social issues. They recently posted an anti-bullying clip that stated, some names aren't meant to be shared. Using the popularity of the Share a Coke campaign, they were able to send out an impacting message about bullying. On average, each video clip has led to over 5,000 likes and 90 comments. This campaign was extremely successful. It led to consumers engaging with the brand by the thousands every month. This increased soft drink sales by 2%, increased Coke consumption from 1.7 to 1.9 billion servings a day and became the number one trending topic on social media. Such success would not have happened if Coca-Cola had not relied on consumers to spread the word through their network of friends. Coca-Cola continues to maintain its brand image by engaging with consumers on Pinterest. They are known for pinning some original and some consumer-generated content. They have several boards, most of which are dedicated to food and beverages. Interestingly, there are some delicious looking dessert recipes that can be linked back to Coca-Cola's website. Under the snacks and treats board, I found a recipe that Coke pinned from an individual's blog.
There are many great photos taken by individuals. None of these photos link back to Coca-Cola's website. The images posted are purely consumer content that is associated with the Coca-Cola brand. Evidently, people enjoy taking photos that look like Coca-Cola advertisements. Collating these images has been beneficial to Coke. It encourages the original pinner's behavior by making them feel that they were noticed for their efforts. Coca-Cola has more than 800,000 followers on Google+. However, they rarely use this social platform. User engagement is low compared to Facebook and other social media sites. The one interesting feature is Hangouts. They used Hangouts to experiment with some of Coke's fans, such as Jason Derulo. This was a unique way for fans to engage with the brand beyond using plus ones and likes. In summary, Coca-Cola's marketing strategy was successful in engaging their audience through crowdsourcing, shareable content, and real brand experiences. Their brand message translates happiness, togetherness, and the value of life's special moments. Targeted to teens and young adults, Coca-Cola has successfully maintained brand engagement and encouraged brand loyalty through social media. Their efforts have defined Coca-Cola as more than just a beverage company, but also an ally in this journey we call life.